What's up guys? Welcome back to Divine Reptiles. Today, however, is a little different. It has something to do with reptiles, but just something I or we have been experimenting with, especially when you have six snakes, uh, a caiman and a tegu, things that will eat mice and to maybe help with your cost. So, hey, if this is your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're coming back for another round, baby, you know what we're getting into, breeding mice. I'm gonna show you just <laughs> what I've done. Don't get into all the hype that you might see. This is the best video you might see about it. Let's go. All right, so look, I'm gonna give you a quick run through. These are the aquariums. As you can see, that says babies, 919. This one right here says they're breeding. They're getting it on, baby. Right, then right here we got some males, and then these babies were nine, ten. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things because honestly, this is our fourth or fifth, fifth and sixth, whatever it is, uh, litters. <laughs> I don't know what whatever they call mice, you know, it just is what it is snake food. That's what we call it snake food or uh, money savers. Okay, so. This right here is help. Now, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos where they were saying, make sure you do this and you got to have that. And you got to, for what? My God, they're mice. They're going to, they're going to figure it out, All right? But there are a couple of things you got to make sure you have and a couple of things that you got to do to make it work. Um, we actually had, we had one mama that had some babies and she didn't even nurse them. So guess what she did? Whoop! She didn't make the team, baby. <laughs> she didn't make it. So let me let me show you real quick, or at least give you guys an idea of, of what all you really have to do uh, to make it work. I mean, we got four, but honestly, we only started with one 10 gallon aquarium and it's grown to four over the, the last several uh, litters of babies. But let me show you all this. All right, so this is our, our my, my or our breeding aquarium, okay? And, and one of these guys is a male. We named, named him Stud. He has literally fathered just about every litter we have. Yes, yes, guys that are watching, it would be great to be a male mouse. It, it's, about, it's about like watching an assault, but hey, it's all right. But the, the one thing I'll tell you is when you're when you're breeding them, don't have anything in there as far as like the little spin wheels, thing that they can exercise on or whatever. We honestly only give them this, and I save a lot of the toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, things like that. Um, that we put in all the aquariums. But as far as the breeding one, you wanna keep it as minimal as possible. We are experimenting here. This is the most we have done. Normally we do one male and then two females. One big kicker I gotta make sure you guys know is, is that when the, the they start having babies, the male has to come out because he'll kill the babies. So you put him in his own, he isolates himself out. At first, when we were doing it, it was uh, just kind of one female at a time was having a baby. One of these females in here has already been with him for a couple few weeks. So she, I would imagine, uh, we call it, they've been uh, squeaking. <laughs> they've been squeaking. So we're, we're, we're looking at that, uh, but we're kind of experimenting. So what we did is we actually put four females in here with the one male just to see what happens. So... To start, I would highly recommend just using one male, two females. As soon as the base, they have babies, you're going to know it. Believe me, they get huge. As soon as they have babies, keep an eye on it. Pull the male out. Put him in his own aquarium. All right. These little things here are just an expense. I'm going to tell you right now, get a bunch of them. If you're going to do this, you're going to need a lot of these, especially with mice. I mean, they're having anywhere from 8 to 11 to 12 babies. So you're gonna need several of these as you start pulling them out and doing these things. Just making sure you know, this is an expense that is going to come with it, but it will pay off in the end, my friends. All right, I know it looks the same, but as you can tell, we put a couple more rolls. They love, love toilet paper rolls. Don't you? Don't you? He's in there somewhere. <laughs> but these guys right here, okay? They were born on 9 10, September 10th. And so right now, they are right at four weeks old. Okay, I call these guys uh, hoppers. They are extremely fast, and they're like, boop, boop, boop. you know, they just, <laughs> they do. They just hop. That's why we call them hoppers. Uh, and they're quick. They're very skittish, do, 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 but they're cute. See that? Bam! Ow! Like, nah, bro. You're not catching me. You're not touching me. I don't know what you need to do. But at four weeks, you can separate them from their mom, which is what we've done here. They have figured out how to eat on their own uh, and get water. And we make sure that they got plenty of little things to like 
uh, burrow in. They burrow all through this stuff and uh, and make their own little thing. And then we do, we give them a little hide that we got. Just a little one, that's all they need. It's perfect for them. But this right here, just to give you an idea. So this is four weeks of a mouse, all right? That does not take long for them to get pretty, pretty big uh, as far as a good feeder or a good hopper is, is another term, maybe under a feeder between a fuzzy and a feeder mouse. Uh, but there you go, four weeks out on their own. All right, so these, that's a, that's mama right there. These babies are two weeks, so we have actually left the two females in here with them. Where'd they go? <laughs> I was like, um, I only see one baby. But you can tell a big difference between that little guy there and um, the amount. There we go. <laughs> Told you. They love love these little things. I'm telling you this right here is a lifesaver. Just getting a toilet paper or a paper towel roll. But you see how many there are, right? <laughs> Just keep that in mind when you're doing this because you're going to have a lot of babies kind of depending on how you're doing it. We got the two females. As you can tell, that's one and two because they are still nursing, but they are getting out on their own. They are figuring out how to get their own water from here and their own food from there. But just to give you an idea of the, the two week difference, uh, these guys are obviously a little smaller. And then what we do is uh, separate them. Uh, as you can tell, we took out the other ones I just showed you. They were in here uh, today, actually, and we took them out and we moved them to the other one because they were kind of getting on their own, obviously eating on their own, drinking on their own. And there you go. That's <laughs> crazy, dude. I wasn't expecting that many to come out. Look, watch, look at my little. Whoop. <laughs> so. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine, about nine babies. I think I fed a couple because uh, you got two. That's what they're here for, to get fed. But save the mamas. You get a good mama, these two right here are awesome mamas. You get a good male, keep them, uh, keep those guys alive. Do not feed them to your snakes, only when uh, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Sorry. And boom, this right here, honestly, is the best thing we've ever gotten for them. Uh, again, it's another expense, but it does pay off in the long run, especially when you're someone like me that has a lot of reptiles that eat these guys. And I also hear that there's also a lot of times where people struggle to find some mice and some rats. We'll make sure that this link for this is in the description. And just so you know, what we ended up finding out was is if you do an auto ship through Amazon once a month for this, uh, you save almost $3 a bag, which, you know, hey, depending on your situation, uh, that could be a lifesaver. So, again, I'll make sure that this is in the description uh, as far as what to feed them as you're going along. And then your basic Aspen shavings, uh, which is just great. You know, I mean, there's really not much that's ever going to hold the smell in. You're going to have to make sure you clean it out, you know. But when they have babies, you cannot touch them. I'm going to get in some more things. So, so don't let me lose you about what you got to do in order to make it really work. That's it. I'm telling you. All you got to do, remember these right here. One male, two females. As soon as they have babies, take the male out, put him in his own enclosure. They have, what, four weeks of nursing. Then they can go off on their own and you separate the males and the females. I'll tell you right now, that is hard to, to tell the difference. But you try to, to do the thing, whatever. It's my, who cares, right? So then you separate them. You keep the male by himself. One of the babies gets a little older. She's a female. Then you get the two females. You put them back with the male. They get pregnant again. You keep them together. Then you grab a little baby that you've already had. She's a female. You put her with that male. Blah, blah, blah. As you can see, the cycle just continues. But don't mess with them once they've had babies. Well, honestly, once they got the two females and the males, we don't do anything uh, as far as cleaning. We'll feed them, make sure they have water, but just let it go. Be careful how much bedding you have in because once they have babies, they'll bury it too much and uh, um, they can actually suffocate the babies. It did work. Honestly, this one right here was the first time we had the two mamas together with babies and they actually nursed each other's babies, which was huge, huge uh on doing that so something to keep in mind while you're doing it you know like i told you the one mama she she didn't nurse them at all all the little babies died or just about all of them died and so you know sometimes they just don't make the team you gotta cut them loose and it's okay the, the, the crocodile liked them Shh, don't tell nobody but i'm telling you it's not as hard as some of these videos when we were trying to learn of and it was just so in depth don't do that don't trust me quick and easy the male mouse, find you a good one. Find you a stud. <laughs> That's it. A stud. That's it. All right. Other than that, remember, love your reptiles. 
breed some mice that'll save you some money in the long run and make sure you got everything you need. And until next time, baby, I will see you later.